Hello, everybody, and welcome to WOSN's presentation of the state final in Division Three Girls High School Soccer. It's Ottawa Glen North taking on Cincinnati Country Day. Only three losses, but 10 total between these two teams as they get set to determine the state champion. I'm Doug Jenkins alongside Nate Garlock. We are pleased to bring you all of the action from tonight's contest from Historic Crew Stadium. Our game of service of Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Well, Nate, we saw Ottawa Glendorf look very impressive in their state semifinal matchup just a couple of days ago. They'll need to be equally as impressive here tonight. Yeah, you know, this is a big game. Obviously, it's a state championship, but there's so much backstory between these two teams. The rematch of last year's, this is Ottawa Glendorf's third straight trip to the state finals. They're 0-2 so far. You know they want to change that here tonight. You know, you mentioned only three losses between these two teams, but it has been a long, long time since either one of these teams have lost. These defenses have been absolutely fantastic. Cincinnati Country Day comes in tonight, have yet to give up a goal in uh, tournament play. Ottawa Glendorf has been equally as stingy, only giving up one, and that was to the offensive powerhouse Norris uh, um, to, uh, earlier this yep. week, excuse me, um, against Manchester in what ended up being a pretty dominant win for Ottawa Glendorf. So we'll see what kind of start they get off to tonight. You, know, you take a look at the stats and you know there's some that, you know, make us kind of wonder how this game will get played out tonight, but in the early going you see that Cincinnati Country Day is really controlling things. Elizabeth Zimmerman, one of the ones to watch. She's the one handling it up top. She dishes off to a steppy and They've got really three very strong players up top to do the Nighthawks. Uh, Elizabeth Zimmerman, one of them with 32 goals. She leads them, uh, but also Megan Zimmerman right behind her, uh, just, just over 20 goals on the season. And then Piper Ferris, just over 20 goals on the season as well. And they can all distribute too, which makes them even more dangerous. Yeah, just an absolutely powerful uh, three-headed monster that Cincinnati Country Day is able to throw at you. And when you have girls that are so, that, that good on offense, it doesn't matter if one's having a night off. Some teams, you have your one player off, then it, it affects the entire team. But Cincinnati Country Day, the talent level they have, they can throw player after player after player at you. You're going to get an early look at a corner here, and that one initially headed away by Brinkman. But the Nighthawks looking for a cross into the box, and that one sent out of play again, and another corner kick coming up for Country Day. Hey, Nate, you mentioned the stats coming into this game, and if you look at the record for Country Day, they gave up some goals in the midway point of the season, uh, but it didn't really matter because they just filled the back of the net up. So you have to believe Ottawa Glendorf going to get their attempts. That one not played well off the foot of Kendall Weber, and it will be a Titan goal kick coming up. So it's really the matter of making the most of your opportunities if you're Ottawa Glendorf tonight. You might not see quite as many shots on goal as you usually get, but I don't know. If you look at the number of saves that the keeper for Country Day has had this year, and Alyssa Easter, 110 is a huge number, but also means she's seen a lot of shots. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the 110 saves, only 17 goals given up all year long. Yeah. By her. So, I mean, just an absolutely tremendous percentage. Throw in coming up Country Day. Back on their attacking half of the field. Titans weathering an early storm, now trying to get a little bit of offensive momentum themselves. But there's clearance for the Nighthawks. Played into the midfield. Coming up with it there was Liv Grothaus, but taken away from her over to the right side, where she'll get it to Elizabeth Zimmerman. Already this OG defense is already seeing more pressure than they did in that Manchester game. It was quite a while before they had to play significant time down on their defensive third, but here in the early going, they've been on their heels and having to fill space. Right now, Cincinnati Country Day has just been a little bit quicker to the ball. Titans kind of fortunate there to force a throw in rather than a goal kick, and we'll push it back a little bit further down the field. Throw in from the far side right in front of the blue crew. Of course, Titan faithful traveled well down to Columbus here tonight. Titans need to get this one out of harm's way. Shot deflected off the defense. And that's a nice takeaway, and that's going to be a trip. Easy call for the officials there. Well, the Titans might have had something cooking, too, if it hadn't been for that penalty. Yeah, and 
you know, that's one of the ones you can hear the OG faithful on the other side. They thought that was a little bit more than just a, a simple trip, but unfortunate for Ottawa Glandorf as it stopped that momentum, but see if they get an opportunity here to maybe have some extended possession time on their offensive third. Well, they get it, tried to work into the corner, just a little bit off on their connection in the far corner, or in the near corner, pardon me. And Mackenzie Wrecker that time looked like maybe she wasn't quite expecting that one to come her way. Thought maybe it might get deflected and at the last minute tried to keep it in, but was unsuccessful. That'll be deflected out of bounds. Last touch by Elizabeth Zimmerman and a quick throw in for the Titans. It's always that feeling out process in the first 10 minutes of these high-level soccer games. That'll be a Titan throw in. Probably did not feel great off the head of uh, Kendall Weber there, but the Titans will get it back. That's a steal, though, taken away by Zimmerman and immediately taken away by the Titans. Mike Aldridge with a little room to work. Wants to distribute long diagonal towards the left corner. They've got a run of that direct way. And the shot going to be wide to the left off the foot of Delaney Dooling, but the Titans get their first shot of the ball game. That was a nicely played ball by Micah Aldridge. Really led, led Dooling into space there and allowed the Titans to finally find an attack. Yeah, and it all started off that Madeline Hovis poke away. You know, she went to that ball, and instead of playing uh, aggressive and maybe getting into the body, she was a nice little finesse kick to get that through and really start that run that allowed Micah Aldridge to send that good ball. So OG with a little momentum here. Takeaway, and that one deflected out of bounds by the Titan defense. Coming up there was uh, Megan Ho or Horseman to get her head on it. That is an absolute cannon of a throw. Horseman has to retreat to, to uh, get to it. The Nighthawks take it down to the end line, touched out of bounds, and it's going to be another corner kick. This will be the third corner kick of the evening for Country Day. I'll tell you what, it is a huge advantage when you have a player that can throw the ball in like that. I mean, that is almost equal to being able just to take yeah. a free kick from that side. You saw Cincinnati Country, they take advantage of it. They're running it down and getting themselves a corner kick. Played seven minutes here at Historic Crew Stadium. That one lobbed into the center of the box, headed back towards net, and a diving save. Going to be made by Carson Erford. That's yep. not an easy one for the goalie to get to. That one came through traffic. You know, that was a great ball off the left foot on that corner, and it bended the exact way that the Nighthawks wanted, able to get ahead and get some power on it. Fortunate for OG, they had that played correct. Even if Erford wasn't able to dive on that one, they had put a defender right on that post. So great defensive alignment by the Titans, and it keeps this one at 0-0. Nate, you mentioned this being a rematch, and it's not often that you get to this level of the tournament, being in the final, and have familiarity with your opponent, uh, as these two teams do. Not only have they been able to watch each other on max preps and see the video that way, but they've been on the field with essentially a lot of the same players and kind of no tendencies from that standpoint, too. And yeah, Cincinnati Country Day, you know, they've been on a nice little run over the last seven or eight years. And I say a nice little run, but they've been <laughs> in the state semis in 2016, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. Came away with state champions in 18, 19, and in 2022. So, I mean, this is this is a powerhouse girls team here in Division Three, And Ottawa Glandorf, no slouch themselves. We know how good they have been, especially over these last three years. So these are the types of matchups that you hope for when you get down here. Both of these teams, you know, they're very familiar with one another, but you know that they want to be able to say when they are state champions that they beat the best, and we have the two best right now playing in this game. Absolutely. That throw-in's going to go long. It'll be a goal kick coming up now for the Nighthawks of Cincinnati Country Day. So we've played nearly nine minutes here in the first half. The Titans have yet to really been able to sustain any offensive momentum, but they've done a good job of just keeping the ball in front of them and it's going to have to be job number one tonight. As much as you want to get on the attack, you, you really can't be too risky, at least here in the early parts of the game, and give that three-headed monster up top any sort of easy opening. Well, and I think the difference that we're seeing between tonight and back in the state semis was Ottawa Glendorf really controlled the midfield yeah. in that semifinal. The, the ball didn't really get past. You know, Michael Aldridge seemed to be all over the field. Bree Douglas was right there chasing him down as well. The midfield did an excellent job of controlling possession. And at least here in this early going, we're not seeing that. Cincinnati Country Day right now is, is maintaining that midfield. They're controlling things. They're dictating the pace. And Ottawa Glendorf has to find a way to flip that around. 
It was a nice defensive clearance out to McKenna Seifker, but the Titans unable to control it once they get past midfield. Seifker sends it back across, but it's headed right back towards her. Country Day will control. That pass is going to go long, and it will be an OG throw. And Megan Horseman swings over to the far side to take that. That one deflected out of bounds, last touched by the Titans. Ottawa Glendorf in their navy blue jerseys tonight. Country Day in the white jerseys. Try and play it on the right side. Really looking to switch field here. They haven't been able to do so. Lobbed forward, though. Headed down towards the goal box. Clearance went more straight up and down. Bounces out to the left side. Zimmerman. Zimmerman, immediately the Titans put two bodies on her, and they're able to pry the ball away from her. Nice outlet pass to Bree Douglas, too. Douglas got around. Was she able to keep it in play? Official says no. It just rolled out in front of the Titan bench. It'll be a throw-in coming up for Country Day. That was awfully close. The ball can be on the line, but it just inched over out, of, out which prevented Bree with that speed. You know, she had a lot of green in front of her. It would have been a nice little run for Ottawa Glendorf. Seifker trying to... Rocket it downfield, had it deflected. Able to poke it away. Douglas comes up with it. Douglas trying to work into some space. She's got a diagonal pass if she wants it. Couldn't quite hit it. Dueling was, was open on the left side, but that was a tough angle to pass. She had a little bit of traffic to get it through. Yeah, and I'm not sure if she saw dueling out wide because it kind of looked like she was trying to find a running Aldrich who was cut through that middle as well. Titan pass into their attacking third. Goes outside wide. Here comes a Nighthawk throw in on the near sideline. Douglas heads it down. A couple of Titan players, I think, may have collided there. And yeah. Aldrich and Douglas. Yeah, Aldrich and Douglas, went. they both went for it. Actually took each other out. Fortunately, Cincinnati Country Day doesn't look they were able to take advantage of the numbers that time. Dueling battling for it with Josie Hyden over on the far side. Ball rolls free out to Key Camp. And the Nighthawks. Playing a little possession game right now, trying to size up this tight defense, find a crack in it. There's a long diagonal. That's going to be taken away, though, by Wrecker, or excuse me, by uh, Madeline Hovist. Miscommunication again. So McKenna Siefker had a great game in the semifinal, had the hat trick. She got off page that time, was trying to feed forward on Wrecker, but didn't happen. Out to a Glandorf, they're going to get the throw in. Titans got a break there. Zimmerman was trying to turn the corner, but the ball just got over the touch line. And the Titans get possession back. So they try and send it back. Boy, here in the early goings, this first 13 minutes or so, the Nighthawks do a good job of just throwing themselves in the passing lanes and not letting anything easy get downfield. They've deflected a lot of passes that the Titans would like to have. As Seifker works it towards the end line, looking for the cross. That one got through. No runner, though. Aldrich was just a little bit too forward. If she'd have been back a few more feet, that was a great ball into the center of the box. That's the look the Titans want, though. Battling for it. There's a centering pass, and Kloster sent, sent out of harm's way. It was Mackenzie Recker put that one into the goal box. Had a good look, but just couldn't connect with another navy blue jersey. But the Titans are starting to find something they like here. Yeah, those were two great centers. And unfortunately, Adam McGlendorf didn't have anybody running downhill at him to try to put it on net. But I'll be interested to see as we go. You know, we talked about the scoring proficiency of uh, Cincinnati Country Day and just what they've been able to accomplish. They've had a lot of lopsided scores. Ottawa Glendorf, even though as good as they've been, their games have been, I mean, a little tighter. You know, yeah. they've been two, three goal games. You know, games that you can't really quit on. You haven't been able to to go deep onto the bench. The starters had to play a lot of minutes. We know that Ottawa Glendorf puts a lot of pressure on teams. They're going to play fast. They're going to push the Cincinnati Country Day team. Well, I'll be very curious to see as this game continues to go, especially as it stays tight, if that starts to wear on the Nighthawks, and if we can start to see maybe their legs start to go a little bit, and that gives Ottawa Glendorf the advantage. Definitely something to keep an eye on as the Nighthawks work it down into their attacking third, Piper Ferris. She's got handles. There's a left foot towards the top of the box. Didn't quite find its mark, and that one will be sent away by Megan Horseman momentarily. Here comes a long shot, and Carson Erford is right there for her second save, second shot on goal for Country Day in this contest. We've played just over 14 minutes. 
what a benefit it is to have a sophomore back there in net and be as good as she is this young. She had a great freshman season as well. Didn't quite see a lot of shots because yeah. of how good that defense was of Ottawa Glendorf. But this year it's been a little bit of a different story. She has a lot more experience, and she has shown it. She's come up big. We saw a couple of big spots in the state semifinal yeah. where she had to range and, and get hands on balls and, and take different angles. They, they all haven't been easy saves right at her. She's done a very good job this year. Emma Herringhouse will enter the lineup for Ottawa Glandorf. And she'll take the spot of Liv Grothaus over on the far side of the field. Pass to the middle, trying to give it to Seifker. Seifker lops one towards the left side, and that is going to roll out of bounds. It's interesting. It's been a while since we've been to Historic Crew Stadium. This used to be a grass field when the Columbus crew played here. Of course, when the crew moved downtown to Lower.com and they made this their training facility, they put in turf. Turf plays faster than grass. I almost think on grass you've got to hope for that ball to stay in and, and give, make a run at it. Yeah, I think so. And I mean, that's, you know, it, the one thing at least is is most high schools, at least in Northwest Ohio, they're they go in it. turf. It, it's something they're at least that they're used to. But, you know, last year this game was downtown at Lower.com, a different venue. You know, this one's a lot more open. You know, the crowd's not quite as on top of you. You're, not, you're on turf compared to grass. So even though this is a rematch, um, it you know, does have a, a very different feel than last year's game did. Quick throw for the Titans. They're attacking third on the far side of the field. Trying to turn around and make a move there is a Mackenzie Wrecker and... That ball's going to be kept alive by the Nighthawk defense. Can the Titans get a touch? Mike Aldridge goes back to her left. Can't quite find a shot. OG would love to put one on frame here. That one is sent wide to the right. That off the foot of Mackenzie Recker. Second Titan shot, but both have been wide so far. And I'll tell you what, that one looked like it had been deflected off of a hand. I thought OG was going to get a corner that time. But good job keeping it alive, working around the just outside the box. You got the feel like if Aldridge could have got back to her right, she was ready to send a laser in. She could hit with her left too, but dominant with the right foot. Just couldn't quite get back to that side to take the shot. Now, now the Nighthawks are on the run. Looking for the pass into the goal box left side. Nicely sent away by the defense. Gives the defense a momentary reprieve as they try and pass it out to the left side. And work it over to Zimmers. Zimmers centering pass, finds its mark. Shot coming, that's deflected, and once again, Erford comes up with a little bit of an easier save, although it did deflect, and her initial instinct was to go left. That ball came right, but she was able to get there. Yeah, those are the ones that make your heart stop for a second as you see that long ball coming in, your teammate's trying to get in, and it deflects but keeps coming straight. A lot of times those can be tricky. Erford did a nice job of staying relaxed and getting the save. It'll be her third save of the evening. Working with the ball right now, Megan Zimmerman. Drops it back, now played forward. Piper Ferris was a nice pass to the middle, but nobody was home, and now the Titans trying to work it back their direction. Ball sent away from Douglas momentarily, but getting a foot on it to send it forward was Hovist. Battle for possession in the interior here. Now the Nighthawks working it down the far sideline. Horseman doing a good job on defense, going step for step with uh, Elizabeth Zimmerman there. You get the feeling that Megan Horseman may be Zimmerman's shadow here. Horseman we've seen mostly as a center back this year, but she seems to be playing more outside this year just to mark where Zimmerman is and make sure to take her away. Right now, though, Country Day will get a corner kick. Now, look, Landorf wants to be careful. Cincinnati's been getting closer and closer on these corners, already four here in the first half. So a line drive out in front of the net. It is headed back into uh, the netting. And Country Day will strike first. 21-27 remaining in the first half. And the Nighthawks lead by a score of one to nothing. We'll take a timeout. Back with more on WSN after this. Welcome back to Historic Crew Stadium here on WOSN. Ottawa Glandorf trailing Cincinnati Country Day by a score of 1-0. Megan Zimmerman by virtue of an assist from Elizabeth Zimmerman off the corner. The header finds the back of the net to make it 1-0. That one coming with 21-27 remaining in the first quarter. That's your score on the Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Structure Outdoor by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 
We just talked about the danger of those corners as Cincinnati had seemed to be getting closer and closer on those. And that time, a great ball right to the center and a perfect header. Carson Erford just didn't stand much of a chance on that one. Ottawa Glendorf's going to have to adjust on that far side. Every time it seems like the Nighthawks have gotten a run, they've been able to force a corner. They've got not, they have to stop letting them have those opportunities. Bree Douglas making things happen. The Titans couldn't set it down cleanly. Seifker trying to pull it back, and it's knocked away from her. That was exactly the attack the Titans were looking for, but just could not get a clean look on net. It'll be taken away by the Nighthawks. That's a nice aggressive take by the Titans, and they'll have to be a little bit more aggressive now as Carly Brakeman stepped in front of a couple there. Titans will get a throw in here on the near sideline. Yeah, it's been a long time since the Titans have been down on the scoreboard. We'll see how they respond. And there should be a corner coming up for the Titans as that's deflected out of bounds. It'll be for the first corner for Ottawa Glendorf this evening. And the Titans going to be able to bring Delaney Dooling back into the lineup here before they mount this set piece. We talked a little bit on uh, during the state semifinal. This is where the Titans needed to be a little bit more crisp and now an opportunity. Yeah, they went 0 for 10 on corners in the state semifinals. Not something that they could have been happy about. We'll see if they've made some adjustments. Corner will come from the near side. Bounces into the goal box and sent back out of play. So we're not a, another corner here. Yeah, they are. And not a great send once again. We're seeing them struggle. Bree Douglas out there just not having a lot of power on that one. We'll see now with a second opportunity if she can get the ball a little bit better in the air. The second opportunity in. This one more of a lower line drive, and that one sent back towards midfield. Set down by Hovist. She'll play it forward. Keeper stayed back on that. Titans trying to keep it in play. And they were unable to do so. Goal kick coming up. That's not, I don't, I don't mind that pass because it was right in no man's land where the keeper has to make a decision to either tell their defender to get it or they have to come out and get it themselves. And you saw almost a little hesitation by Alyssa Easter. If she wanted to come, you saw her start to come off that back line a little bit. Ultimately, uh, they made the smart play, let the defender handle that. You stay back on the line to handle anything that might happen. Well, and I like the challenge from OG as, as well. You never want to just give them the free goal kick. You know, maybe you can get another corner out of that one. But I think right now just the, the Titans just need to relax a little bit in that final third, set up that last pass. They've been able to get down there, but they can't quite get that last pass set up. Something developing here, though, as Douglas went for the cross. It's deflected out of bounds. Suddenly the Titans will be on their third corner kick of Oh, I thought that was a deflection. I thought so as well, too, but it looked like Bree Douglas just had that one sail off her foot. And it's up in another goal kick for the Nighthawks. Indeed it will be. Perhaps a missed opportunity for Ottawa Glendorf there. Trailing by a score of 1-0. Again, that goal was a service of Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Titans giving some chase here, but unable to get that. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Past the midway point of this first half, 17-20 remaining. Titans trailing by a score of 1-0. Not going to go long. They're going to go accurate. Looked like a handball over there, and I think the OG <laughs> fans also agreed with us, but the officials letting that one go, but there's a throw in for OG at least. I don't know if we have a field mic over there or not, but if we do, I don't need to do the play-by-play -play <laughs> on that one. You heard exactly what uh, what the Titan fans thought of that. Titans send that one sailing out of bounds, though, and it will be the uh, Nighthawks taking the throw in here. Substitution coming in. Ottawa Glendorf will bring Emma Herringhouse back out onto the pitch. Uh, does not quite not yet. Yeah. I think they were trying to push back uh, Cincinnati Country Day. They were coming a little bit too far up on that throw. Michael Aldridge has it out, passes forward, finds Ziefker. Knocked off the ball. It was a clean challenge. Titans trying to now deter the counter. Pass out to Ferris. Piper Ferris on the left side. Picked up by Horseman. Works it to the middle. 
Rivals this one. That one's going to be wide of the net, wide to the right. First shot that's not on frame for Country Day here tonight. That was a nice job by the OG defense. Elizabeth Zimmerman was coming heavy. She's the leading offensive threat for the Nighthawks. 95 total points, 32 goals, 31 assists on the season. I mean, she is an absolute handful down there, but it was a, a nice job. And Megan Horseman on her, didn't let her get away from her. Titans going to send this one out of play, too, as the initial throw just rolled down the sideline. Got past the last defender, but they were able to send it out of play. Quick throw. Finds its way to Zimmerman. Zimmerman going to be double teamed. Oh, that's a nice move through two people. Titans going to need the clearance here, and that will be sent out of bounds off the foot of Mackenzie Recker. She sent it through not just the initial defender's leg, but then the secondary player as well. It's the Nighthawks here going to whole health or wholesale substitutions. Yeah, three substitutions come on here for the Nighthawks. Well, if you're Ottawa Glendorf right now, and I'm sure this will be the message at the half from Coach Michelle Magus, this is why you play Finley, this is why you play Anthony Wayne, this is why you play Perrysburg, is to test yourself in a situation like this before you get here. And Well, the only loss out of those three big matchups was to Perrysburg. It's still great experience, still gives you this type of game speed, gets you ready for something like this. And we'll see what lessons the Titans took away from that one and apply to this and even in, when you're talking about that Perrysburg loss, even if, you know, that is the example that they're going to start using, even in that game, they, they scored. They yeah. were able to find the back of the net. That was a high-scoring game. It was a 5-3 loss. So they know that the offense can go against these strong powerhouse teams. They just got to settle a little bit. They've got to be a little sharper on defense. Right now we're seeing them get the foot on the ball and send them away, but we're, they're not getting the, uh, the benefit of the bounces here as another deflection goes out for another corner. Set to take that is Elizabeth Zimmerman. She already has an assist off of a corner here. Megan Zimmerman <laughs> was the target on that one who put it in off of her head. We'll see if they can connect here. The Titans looking to turn them. It's a great ball and punched away. Titans, can they get something in a counter going? Nope, slowed up. OG able to just decompress the field with that punch down the way. Well, you don't get an attack there. You just Give, you give yourself some time to breathe. And it looks like Seifker's uh, faster right there than yeah. the defender. So if nothing else, if you're able to get that down there, keep that inbound, you give her an opportunity at least. As we have it, we're going to have a penalty, penalty against, against the against, Titans. Yeah. So Nighthawks will get the free kick here. <laughs> so it'll be a free kick here for Cincinnati Country Day with 13 minutes and change remaining in the first half. Still plenty of soccer to be played here at Historic Crew Stadium. Of course, the state finals being played here this year because the Columbus Crew in the playoffs in Major League Soccer at Lower Dot Com Field will be used on Sunday. So keeping that pitch in top shape, they moved the state final games out to Historic Crew Stadium this year. As Maya Herringhouse comes into the lineup. But with plenty of soccer left to be played, if you're the Titans, you don't have to change how you play right now. You don't have to take any really unnecessary risks. You just keep playing your game. Yeah, you just want to make sure that you don't allow a, a mistake to build up. Yeah. You know, the last thing that you want is obviously to give up another goal. A one goal difference, you can continue to play. A second one gets by you somehow, and then all of a sudden you have to start thinking about taking some uh, chances and, you know, trying not to, to panic. And, and there's a lot that more that goes into it just with that two-goal difference. I like Micah Aldridge's idea there, trying to hit that long diagonal pass. Just didn't quite get enough on it to get past that last defender. But did have somebody on the backside if you could have connected. Now working the sideline. Titans take it towards uh, the end of the field. Nice move to split two defenders. And OG fans going to want a trip on that one. Not going to get it. I think maybe the Nighthawks fortunate they had two defenders there. You know, that's one where you, you don't want a, a ticky-tack call, but there definitely was some contact. Now they work it back into their attacking third. That one going to deflect off a couple of people and an easy one for Carson Erford to come up and get. And I think that's the difference right now, right? We're seeing that when Cincinnati is able to get on the attack, 
they're able to go. They're able to get those runs. They can play that one out. Ottawa Glendorf has not been able to do it. They've tried a couple of times, but they've been just a little bit been a little bit off on their passes, or Cincinnati's defense has been right there to turn them away. But when Country Day gets going, they go quickly. They give themselves opportunities, and the defense doesn't have time to get set. This might have a little bit to it as it gets down towards the far corner of the field, centered, but nobody home coming out to get that one easily is Alyssa Easter, the keeper for Country Day. That's the third time we've seen a beautiful center, but there has been no Titan trailing to be able to get, put that back in. That can be the disadvantage of that long pass as it takes a bit for people to catch up to it. And the Titans were unable to bring up any more attackers in that situation. But keeping it on their attacking half here. Tried to pass it towards the right side, but stolen away. This job Horseman coming up to keep that in the Titans' possession. Michael Aldridge will have to retreat to midfield to get it as she drops it back to Carly Brinkman. It's a nice job under pressure there, keeping the ball for the Titans by Mackenzie Recker. Tries to cut it back. Had it poked away. Aldridge comes up with it. Aldridge, she knows she'll take one from deep. Takes the shot. That one was falling and is taken away by Alyssa Easter. I was just sitting here thinking about how on Tuesday we started to see, we started to see them start taking those long shots, and they got a few of them to go. And I was wondering if we might start seeing that at some point. Instead of trying to get into the box and working through all that traffic that Country Day has put in front of the net, they were going to maybe try to take their chances from long. And just like that, Michael Aldrich does. It was a great ball. You kind of saw the... Uh, keeper get a little bit of happy feet back there. I thought maybe that one might have a chance. Oh, they're going to call that on Micah Aldrich as she was battling for possession with Piper Ferris. <laughs> a break for Country Day here as they'll take a free kick from just in front of the midfield line. Nine minutes remaining in the first half. It remains 1-0 in favor of the Nighthawks of Country Day. Zimmerman sends this one forward. Titans get the first touch on it. Ball bounces out to, to Hyden. Now taken away by Ottawa Glendorf. Can they get something going here? Don't quite have the numbers, but they're moving downhill. Racing down that left sideline. I believe that's Dooling. Dooling wanted to send it in, but that one is wide. And it will be out of play. Goal kick coming up once again for Country Day. Get Bree Douglas back in the game here with 8.20. Titans have been able to threaten a little bit, and they've been able to get it out to the sidelines. That's where Bree Douglas operates. If you can get her in some space over here, maybe you get a chance at an equalizer. And yeah, absolutely. Right now they've had the outside working. It's just been when they've been trying to feed towards the center where they've been a little bit off. A little strong on the pass that time. It allows Country Day to come up with it. Nicely defended, though. Bree Douglas comes and gets the steal, but it's poked away from her momentarily. Out to Zimmerman. Zimmerman passes over to the right side where she finds Hyden. Hyden, a little green space to work with. Passes right side, centering pass, headed away. Nicely done by the Titan defense. Long left foot. Horseman will come over to get it. Sets it down. That one. I think I hit a little higher up on her foot than she anticipated. Had that spin to the outside and will go out of play. Douglas will head that one down and got away from Ramirez. But ends up back in the foot of Megan Zimmerman. She'll go out to Piper Ferris. Centering pass. Found its mark. Titans have about a couple of bodies in front. Zimmerman. Her shot going to be deflected out of bounds, and it will be another corner kick. This is going to be the sixth corner kick of the evening for Country Day. Cincinnati Country Day School substitution. Now in the match number 17, Kinsey Zimmers. And they're able to bring a couple of their starters Addie back Sweeney. in, and Zimmers and Addie Sweeney. As the Titan defense tasked with sending away another corner kick. That one's in dangerous territory right in front of the net. Carson Erford goes up high to get it and comes down with the ball. Nicely played by the Titan netminder. 
Absolutely. I think Carson learned from that last one. She wasn't going to let that one come down, played that one great, went high to pull it down. See if tries to set it down. That one got away from her a little bit, but she retreats to get it. Nice move back to her left. Passes to Douglas on the outside. Douglas wants to work in some space here. A little slow up, speed up. Looking for the corner. And the centering pass taken away. And just an unfortunate break for Adelaide Glandorf. Oh, that's at least a great maybe not. shot, but it's going to be a little bit high off the foot of Mackenzie Wrecker. And it looked like at first we were talking about maybe an unfortunate break as Bree Douglas had done a great job to get into the corner. It looked like she was going to have it off of a Nighthawk player, but it stays in. Wrecker had the open lane, put the left foot on it, but just a little high. But she had the line. That looked like it was on its way towards that left upper left corner of the net. But it sails high, and the Titans still trailing 1-0 with 5.15 remaining in the game. Horseman did a nice job poking that one away. Absorbed the contact. Now the Titans try and send it out far to the outside. That's nicely taken away by Brinkman. Brinkman sends it down the field. Can the Titans get someone up there? Yeah. They're going to force the issue and force the ball to be sent out of play. Yeah, Adelaide Glander doing a much better job here late in this first half on those 50-50 balls. We're seeing them starting to win those, being able to poke them away, not letting... Cincinnati be able to get away from them on any of these good long runs. Long pass over to the near sideline. Paige Ferris, or, excuse me, Piper Ferris working with it. That's a great ball. Got over the last defender, but that is going to go long. I like that look, though. I mean, Zimmerman, I don't think going to say that the Titans got ahead on it. That probably would gave it that little bit of extra then to get out. And probably fortunate for Ottawa Glandorf that it kept rolling because when it wasn't headed cleanly, there was no other defenders yeah. behind there. Zimmerman was going to have space to operate there if she came away with it, so you'd rather face the throw in here. They get it to Zimmerman who dishes it right back out. Trying to cut it towards the middle, lobbed in and then headed away by Mackenzie Recker, but it's the Nighthawks coming up with it. There's a shot that is going to sail high and wide to the right. Only the third time, though, when Country Day has shot that they've not put it on frame. They have seven total shots. Four of them have been on goal. Pardon me, five of them have been on goal. They have eight total shots. Just over three minutes remain in the first half. Titans trying to find an equalizer here. Swing the momentum as they head to the locker rooms at the break. But that will go out of bounds off Ottawa Glendorf. Here comes a throw on the far side. Lobbed forward by the Titan defense. Aldridge got a foot on it. Seeker sets it down. Seeker splits a couple of defenders. Oh, they're going to say she was offside. She came from an offside position to get that pass. Yeah, at first I thought maybe Ottawa Glendorf was going to get away with one because it looked pretty clear that Seeker <laughs> was offside. <laughs> Well, that tends that happens when you get a quick steal like that. Your your forwards haven't been able to get back and reestablish position. And we're back underway. Nighthawks working the far sideline, trying to bring it back towards the middle of the field. Taken away by the Titan defense, trying to play it forward. See if you couldn't quite get a steal there. That's a long pass into the middle of space that kind of dangerous. There wasn't a defender waiting on it. 50-50 ball, but the Nighthawks were able to get to it. Forward pass. Didn't have the right momentum on it, and that's going to be sent out of play. Last off the foot of Megan Horseman. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Micah Aldridge will come up with it after a couple of Deflections. Her pass, though, was knocked right back at her. Oh, that's a great header. That's a great defensive header. Unfortunately for the Titans, it's sent right back at the defense, and they have to scramble and send that one out of play. But I really like the aggressiveness of Carly, or Carly Brinkman to go after that one, take away any opportunity on that initial pass forward. Yeah, nice clean header. Like the aggressiveness, had some contact, and now a whistle going OG's way. Yeah, so far, they've been on the wrong side of the whistle. See if the Titans want to go with a little tempo here with a minute 20 remaining in the half. Both teams 
battling for that high bouncing ball. Nighthawks will come up with it, looking to switch field over to the near side. Now they'll drop it back. Now they get it over to the left side where they find uh, Kenzie Zimmers. Zimmers centering passes on the mark. Zimmerman, in the meantime, sends it out to the far side. Once again, the Nighthawks on the attack. That's a nice cutback. Can they get a shot out of it? They'll center it up. Defensively headed down there by Wrecker. Long shot coming from deep. That one bounces in the goal box and will be wide. Easy enough for Erford to come out and collect. She'll try and bomb it down the field with 40 seconds left. Douglas couldn't bring it down. And the Nighthawks able to keep it in play. Douglas having to work back, and she does to get the steal. Can she maintain possession, though? Able to. Horseman finds it. Horseman wanted to go down the sideline. Nobody in a blue jersey waiting, though. 20 seconds remaining. Titans working with a little possession, but now Piper Ferris comes up with it with 14 seconds left. Of course, the Titans scored with one second left on the clock in the second half of the state semifinal. They would hate to be on the opposite end of that here. It doesn't really look like the Nighthawks want to play it forward, though. And indeed, they will not. That will do it for the first half of action here at Historic Crew Stadium. Ottawa Glendorf is trailing Cincinnati Country Day by a score of one nothing on the Structure Outdoor scoreboard. We'll be back with second half action after this on WOSM. And welcome back to Historic Crew Stadium here on WOSN. W, er, Doug Jenkins alongside Nate Garlock uh, for the state semifinal in girls division three high school soccer. Ottawa Glandorf trailing Cincinnati Country Day by a score of one nothing as we get set for the second 40 minutes. Today's game is service of Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Well, Nate, the Titans down one nothing. Certainly not insurmountable, but they've had to play a lot more defense than they're accustomed to. You have to imagine they're still going to have to play defense. They're going to have to take some shots downfield and, and make something happen when they have those those attacks that they have been able to get. Yeah, you know, one of the biggest adjustments they need to make is finding a way of limiting those corner kicks. That's what Cincinnati Country Day was able to get their score off of. And ironically enough, Megan Zimmerman, the one who put in the game winner last year against Ottawa Glandorf, put got the scoring underway here in this first half as well. And then we've just seen Ottawa Glandorf, they, they've just seen a li little out of sorts, not used to what you're seeing out of this team. They've seemed like they've almost been chasing instead of dictating play. And that's just not a position that they're used to being in. So we'll see what kind of adjustments they make here early. But you got to imagine that they're going to come out here very aggressive. They scored quickly in the second half in their state semifinal win. Yeah. You, you know, they, so they know how to get started coming out of the locker room. They actually had a nice run going there just off the uh, restart uh, from center uh, from the center circle, but unfortunately got called for offside there. Now it's the Nighthawks trying to attack down the near sideline. Horseman doing a nice job of deterring that one. Passes out to the left side, Delaney dueling with it. Dueling run off the ball as she tried to go down the left sideline. Horseman heads it down. Zimmerman first to it. That's a great stick by Horseman. But unfortunately, she went down as well as Zimmerman. She did a really good job of just making everybody, everything stop there, but couldn't keep her balance to get clearance. And the Nighthawks going to get some looks inside their attacking third now. Yeah, it was a great job just being able to stop the ball, not trying to get over aggressive, not wanting to pick up the penalty, just getting her foot on the ball. And then she had to kick it out quickly because she didn't want Cincinnati to take advantage of the numbers. Big left foot by Zimmerman to put it into the box. Titans struggling to get clearance, and the shot, though, stopped by Erford. Not a whole lot on that shot. Erford able to slide in front fairly easily and come up with another save. Yeah, Piper Ferris wasn't really able to get around on that one with the left foot. So, Ottawa Glandor fortunate. Unofficially have Erford with five saves in tonight's contest. And OG will have a throw over on the far sideline. All deflected right back at McKenna Siefker. Siefker, of course, with the hat trick in the state semifinal over in Shelby. Titans have to back up to take this throw. Aldrich, nice move to her left. Aldrich thinking about winding up and taking one. That one was deflected. 
perhaps a bit ambitious from that far, but you've got to be able to take – if you can get that past that first wave and get it to deflect off, then you might have something cooking. Well, and the Nighthawks did a great job with that defensive line. They had six lined up across there, so Aldridge didn't really have any kind of space to go with. and They easily were able to return that one. Deflected out of play by the Titans there. Nighthawk throw in on the near sideline. Horseman trying to get it away. Zimmerman flings it towards the net. Erford going to have to come out and get it. And Carson Erford able to come away with the ball. She was under some pressure there, though. There was an attacker right in front of her. That's a tough one for the keeper to get to. Yeah, Piper Ferris once again was right there trying to line that one up. Erford saw it coming, able to go out there and get her hands on it. Nice job not letting the offense dictate what happened that time. And I think she learned off of that first goal where she kind of sat back and waited. And we've seen a couple of times tonight her not doing that now, being a little bit more aggressive, going out, taking control. It'll be a throw in for the Nighthawks here after Douglas tried to go down the far sideline, couldn't quite cut that corner. And here comes the throw. Trying to get it to Aldrich. Now Siefker. Did nice job pulling back. She's going to haul off on that one. And that one's going to go very high and wide. And it'll be a goal kick coming up. Now, we've seen Ottawa Glendorf now not afraid to start ripping it, just wanting to put some shots on net if possible. But they have not been able to be on target. And that one, the last couple of shots, maybe a little too far from distance. Working it down the near sideline. Nice takeaway, Titan defense. Able to keep that ball alive, too. Up to McKenna Seeker. No, the AR on this side. We'll say that it did go out of bounds. Good effort by Delaney Dooling. I thought momentarily she kept it alive as she swung her left foot around to keep it, in, or try and keep it in play anyway. Coming back to get that ball is Liv Grothaus. Douglas plays it back towards the middle. Douglas gets the overlap from Aldrich, plays it forward to Aldrich. Mike Aldrich giving chase. And the Nighthawks going to wisely send that one out of play. Great hustle by Aldrich to get down there as Melissa Teak just had to get that one out for the throw in. Left foot, Aldrich into the goal box. That one bounces into the hands of Alyssa Easter. But Titans starting to pepper the goal box a little bit. Haven't quite got the shot on goal they want. But they're getting into their attacking third and, and sending it towards the net and making the keeper do a little bit of work here. Yeah, they're getting closer. Not, the, I'm sure not the type of shot that they were hoping for, but Aldrich's finally able to get it through and at least force the keeper to have to come out and get her hands on the ball. Zimmerman, or excuse me, that's going to be Ferris over on the far side with great footwork. Knocked out of bounds by the Titans, throwing coming in for Country Day. <laughs> There's the throw. They give it right back. Ball is headed in the goal box. Titans looking for a defensive header. They momentarily get it out of harm's way. Zimmerman moves back to her left. Yeah, I was going to say that has to be a push. We got some late whistles coming. Kind of like a little bit of a quicker one as it looked like uh, Country Day was lining up to take a nice shot at goal, but fortunate for the Titans. They're in a great spot defensively to draw that penalty, but unfortunately for the Titans, the Nighthawks in a great spot to take it right back as Piper Ferris works it towards the middle of the field, wants to cut back to her left. Deflected away, but working back to get to it is Mackenzie Recker. She'll find Bree Douglas on the far side. Douglas trying to go long. The Titans have tried to connect on some long passes here in the second half. Hasn't quite worked, but we've seen them make those passes throughout the season. Ball bumped over towards the right side. Looking for the give and go, trying to get it right back to Hyden. Zimmerman going to back this one away and let the defense play it forward. Nicely played by Weber into the middle. Zimmerman sends it in. That one nearly dangerous as the Titans were unable to get a touch on it. Actually, they'll say it did deflect off of Ottawa Glendorf, so another corner coming up. That was close. I thought that had uh, found some space there in between the defender's legs without getting touched. But another corner. Yeah, Cincinnati Country Day has been dangerous on these all night long so far. Carson Erford 
Get set. They'll run one player in front of her. This one, again, right out in front of the net. Hovers in front, and Erford going to have to sprint out to get that one to her right and able to come down with it. See Erford throwing herself around. You can see moving a little slow. A little like gingerly she, there. A little banged up. Saw that off the last one as well. As She's taking some hard hits having to get after these. The turf can be very unforgiving. Especially on a chilly night. Not bad weather-wise here. Not much of a win to speak of, but certainly in the 40s as Douglas takes it down to the corner and her corner, her attempt to center it, just not going to be able to put it out in front of the net. Well defended the entire length of the field there. Yeah, it's getting some of these powerful kicks, and you would think that when you're down there, you don't see your teammates coming, that maybe you would try to angle maybe for that corner, but so far they've been trying to send them, all, they've been getting them off the side of the foot and ends up in goal kicks instead. That one played well forward, easy for Erford to hang on to. Titans, I think, fortunate there that they had a couple of players who didn't make a move for the ball. And fortunately for them, the Nighthawks, I don't think we're anticipating that they would have an opportunity at a run there. Dueling turns the corner, trying to keep it in play, and just lost the handle on it. We're seeing some things out of Ottawa Grandor for that. We're just not used to seeing, you know, they get unforced errors. That one right there out of dueling. She had a lot of space, but was kicking on the outside of the foot instead of the inside. Ends up going out of bounds. And some of these unforced errors right now are starting to pile up. We've played nearly 10 minutes here in the second half. As Horseman tries to play it forward, the Titans trailing by a score of 1-0 on the Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Work it over to the far side. That one sent up into the Blue Crew. And I have to say, the Blue Crew didn't play it well over there. They <laughs> did not possess that ball. It's working its way back down <laughs> through the crowd. A little bit of hot potato over there. You can tell that the OG faithful, if you're paying attention, they changed the mojo up over there. You know, they started the game. Everybody was all in yellow, kind of blended in with the bleachers. But at halftime, went through a wardrobe change. And now the, the fan club over there, now in the navy blue. Aldridge kept it alive, trying to get it to Seifker. Seifker had to take it off her foot, though. Titans threatening, though, as they work it into their attacking third. Long pass left side, expertly played that time by Weber. Weber passes forward to Zimmerman, looking for Weber on the overlap and deflected out of play. We'll have substitutions coming on for Country Day. We'll take a timeout back with more on WOSN right after this. Welcome back to Historic Crew Stadium. Doug Jenkins, Nate Garlock with you here on WOSN for this Division Three state final in girls high school soccer. Out of a Glendorf trailing Cincinnati Country Day by a score of 1-0. And Country Day threatening here as we come back from break. And that one, I thought, rolled past the touchline. The Titans are able to sit it out. That must have just had a blade of turf between it and rolling out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how she managed to save that and keep that one in. OG didn't have much of a choice, just had to kick that one out for the throw in. Great hustle by uh, it was Aubrey de Alicorn. Boy, what a, that's a great pass from Zimmerman. She had almost no space to work there. Still managed to put it out in front of the net. Fortunately for the Titans, nobody attacking in a white jersey there. That's an easy takeaway for Erford to go up and get that one. But that's really been the difference in this game, I think, is any time the Nighthawks are down in that territory, their passing has been a little bit more crisper. They've scored on a set piece from that area. The Titans just haven't been able to put it out in front of the net and run onto the ball with their, their downhill attack. Yeah, they've done a much better job of spacing and, and really spreading out that OG defense. And on the other side, though, when Ottawa Landor comes down on offense, the Nighthawks just seem to have extra jerseys down there. Drop back to Zimmerman. Challenged by Dueling, she'll get around her. Nice pass through two defenders. We'll go out to the right side. Horseman on defense there. As uh, Marin Lang, or pardon me, uh, Alicon tries to put it out in front. That one will go through unscathed and out of bounds. Goal kick coming up again for Ottawa Glendorf. Carson Erford 
Low line drive, that one touched first by the Nighthawks. Coming back to get that one, Seifker, but Seifker tried to play it long to the right side. And that ball just has not been working for the Titans here tonight. That long pass, they've not been able to connect with those as they normally are able to. Headed down, Seifker comes up with it. Volleys that one forward. Aldridge trying to get up there. Plays off, and Douglas gonna be tripped. And the Titans are gonna have a free kick right here in a great position. The officials are gonna stop the clock here, and I think they're gonna issue a card. Indeed they will. That's a big play. That yellow could come big into play. One more, and Cincinnati Country Day would be down a player as that yellow went on. Is that number 19? She comes off the field here to the near side. I think that might be Sam Easter, number 10. Yeah, that'll be the case. So it'll be interesting to see if Easter stays off for a while. Country Day right now, not sure if they want to risk putting her back out there and having to play down a man. Three in the wall. Aldridge to take the kick from just outside the goal box on the right side. Asked for her steps, she gets the 10. They got Savannah Wrecker right towards the top of the box, completely unmarked with a lot of space. Yes, they do. Might not be a bad idea to drop it off, see if she can take the straightaway shot. We'll see how they play it. Aldridge sees it, and that's what she saw. Passes over, there's the shot. Couldn't quite get a hard hit on it. Douglas comes up with it, it rolls away from her. That one's going to roll out of bounds past the touchline, and it's a corner kick coming up for Ottawa Glendorf. So not the cleanest. Aldridge saw what we saw, tried to get it over, but wasn't a very powerful kick. Cincinnati did a great job of adjusting. But when it's all said and done, Ottawa Glendorf with an opportunity here on the corner kick have not looked good in their first two opportunities in the first half. See if Bree Douglas made an adjustment. Douglas. Douglas to take the kick. That one's played well, but headed away. That one put wide and out of play. Well, the Titans threatening here as we've played now just about 14 minutes in the second half. OG looking for that equalizer, trailing by a score of 1-0. Ball is headed towards midfield. Aldridge able to play it over to the right side and get it to a wrecker. Over to the right side, Douglas. Douglas, two defenders there, tried to split them. Now that one's going to be deflected out of bounds. It's another corner kick coming up for Ottawa Glendorf. It'll be their fourth quarter of the evening. Ottawa Glendorf substitution. Now on the pitch number and Emma actually, they're going to stop the clock. We're going to stop the clock as we're, we're going to take a timeout as well, and we will be back right after this on WOSM. Welcome back to Historic Crew Stadium. Doug Jenkins and Nate Garlock with you on WSN for the Division Three State Final in girls high school soccer. And Bree Douglas is coming off the field. They stopped the clock to bring her off. I don't know if it's a cut, perhaps. So I'm not sure if Bree's going to be able to come back in or not. Bree is their corner kicker. Here comes the corner, and that one on top of the net. So if you're Ottawa Glandorf, you couldn't be happy about that stoppage as Bree Douglas was forced to come off. And she's the one that takes your corners for you. But I think she's got a cut on her knee. The trainer's working on her down there. And that is an unfortunate break for Ottawa Glandorf. You get the corner kick, you get a chance to run a set piece, and then you don't get to run it with your primary corner kick taker. You know, with that missed corner now, Ottawa Glandorf, since the state semifinals, they are 0 for 14 on corners. Aldridge hammering that one in there. That one had a little bit more left to right momentum on her. They were crashing on the back side, but that one taken away easily by Alyssa Easter. Aldridge takes that one out of the air. Couldn't quite keep up with it as the ball sent back to midfield. And Hovis comes up with it. Zimmerman takes it away, though, for the Nighthawks. Gets between a couple of defenders. Titans do a good job running her off the ball. Keeping up with that was Liv Grothaus. Grothaus tried to send it back down the field, but the Nighthawks take it right back. 
All oh, right, there you got to have a little bit more communication in your back line. If they let Liv Grothaus know she's got time to work, they're moving down the field right now. Yeah, Grothaus had a lot of space there that she could have taken. She didn't have to send that one on a one touch. But they're going to get it back on the throw in. A little bit of a high kick there as Seifkert got one up close right around the face, but the officials let it go. Be a throw in coming in for the Nighthawks. I know I don't want my face that close to the start of a clean. Absolutely not. Long throw. That one. Titans, I think, wanted to let it roll out of bounds, but it's not going to get that far, so they'll have to send it on their own. Nicely touched down by Dueling, but taken away by the Nighthawks. Good cross over to the middle. Here comes the shot. Couldn't quite get much on it. That one, I think, was going to be wide to the left anyway. Erford will get it. A little bit more of a subdued country day attack right now, and I don't think they're hanging back. I think the Titans are doing a good job of keeping him away from some dangerous spots where they can per perhaps take some shots. But it's going to be another throw in for Country Day here. Ball is headed straight up. Titans just trying to get a foot on it to send it forward. Seeing a lot Getting more a contact physical. now, yeah. That one, a nice deflection for the Titans. Don't have numbers, but that's a nice through ball. Can they catch it before it gets to the end of the field? No, they cannot, and it'll be a goal kick coming up for Country Day. Just a little bit too much on it. It was the right idea. It was the right play on the right part of the field, but just a little bit too much power, and here comes Bree Douglas back into the game. And you see she's taped up just right on the right knee there. Substitutions on. Out of Glandorf right now when they're on offense. They just got to work on trying to connect three or four passes. They're trying to go one, two, and then sending them long. And trying to work that midfield, get three or four passes, try to get that defense of country day uh, moving and out of position before they start sending those shots. That one did get out of bounds momentarily. I thought country day had kept that alive and had a runner down the right side. Horseman to take the throw for OG. And somehow coming down with that one was Megan Zimmerman, even though it hit her head and a Titan defender's head at the same time. But she's able to control it. As good as Ottawa Glendorf was doing late in that first half on those 50-50 balls, now it's Country Day's turn as they seem to be getting the better of most of those. Piper Ferris trying to turn the corner. Set out of bounds, though, by Megan Horseman. And another throw in coming up for the Nighthawks. Approaching the midway point of the second half. The Titans still trailing by a score of 1-0. That'll get out of bounds. Goal kick coming up OG. Oh, Glandorf, they just need something to go their way right now. Got to catch a little bit of a break, get a spark, something to get the energy back up. Horseman's defensive header went straight up. The Titans just trying to keep it alive, and they're able to. No, one, no it did not stay in play. And a quick substitution for Cincinnati Country Day as they work Elizabeth Zimmerman back on. Where she has an assist off of a corner kick back at the midway point in the first half. Number 10, Sam Easter, is back into the game on that back line. And she is being guarded, or she is uh, marked up right now with Seifkert. When Ottawa Glendorf flips this field and they get go back on, if I was them, I'd be going right at her. I would be trying to see if we could, they couldn't force the issue. If they can somehow get her to make a mistake, get her frustrated, somehow get her to pick up that second yellow, that would be huge as uh, the Nighthawks would have to play down a man the rest of the way. Titans going to make a little bit of a switch out there and bring Bree Douglas to the left side of the field. They do tend to move her around a little bit. That's a long volley forward. Douglas giving chase and sent out of play by Cincinnati Country Day. Well, and I wonder if OG saw that as well with Easter back in and they wanted to move Douglas back on. Douglas is the one that had forced that penalty on the other side. Her speed really gives um, the opposing players a lot of trouble. Aldridge made a nice move around but could not keep it alive. 
And then knocked off the ball by Zimmerman. I think it was a clean tackle by Zimmerman there. She got to the ball and just kind of got Aldridge spun around. And in the meantime, the Nighthawks look to get back on the attack as they swing it out to the right side. Now inside, 20 minutes remaining. Long lob down the field. But nobody home for the Titans. Work it around, and Zimmerman comes up with it. And now, right now, this is the big difference between these two teams. We were just talking about connecting three or four passes, and possession by Cincinnati Country Day has been so much better. But Ottawa Glandorf here with the takeaway, like have an that opportunity. Pass by Douglas. Finds McKenna Seifter. Seifter trying to do, make something happen here. Passes up top, Aldrich. Aldrich momentarily had it knocked away. Tries to cut back. And they're going to get a whistle, and the Titans are going to get a penalty. They're going to get a free kick from just outside the top of the penalty box as Aldrich got level. She did a really good job of putting herself between the player and the ball, and as a result, the Nighthawks tried to go through her to get to it. The Titans going to benefit from the whistle here. And, and I'll tell you what, though, I think that that whistle was drawn out. Aldrich did a nice job of going down. He saw her uh, going to her face right away. But I think that if Cincinnati Country Day wouldn't have stopped, and because they stopped playing, and once they stopped, I think the officials were like, oh, I guess that was. You know, they blew that whistle. <laughs> you but call if, yourself on it. But if they hadn't, I, I think that um, that one might have continued. So either way, Ottawa Glendorf here with a great opportunity. Bree Douglas will take the kick, about five yards off the top of the goal box. Four players for the Titans on the right side. Douglas, right foot, lays her right into the wall, comes back to her. She puts it right back into the defensive player. Horseman heads it forward and then sent away by the Nighthawk defense. And yeah, not the best effort that time as Bree Douglas not able to get a lot of air, went right into the wall. They didn't get any sort of deflection that they would have hoped for. You know, sometimes you do that, you hope good things happen off of that deflection, but the Titans didn't come away with a great possession that time. Work to get it over towards the left side. Nighthawks try and turn it back to the middle. Zimmerman, nice footwork to keep that alive. She gives it away, gets it right back. Centering pass. That one got away from Piper Ferris. Working it on the near sideline. Back out to Zimmerman. Zimmerman up top. That's a nice pass through to Ferris. Ferris working to her left. Finds Zimmerman, there's a shot, it's deflected. Titans looking for clearance, can't quite get it. The ball is popped forward. Two Titan defenders nearly ran into each other, but they're able to get it ahead to Aldrich. Now the Titans get it ahead to Douglas. Douglas being pursued from behind, and ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Nighthawks. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one as it was clear that the Nighthawks defender, number 20, Elizabeth Zimmerman, was playing with her hands. The officials stopped the clock here. He's talking to the Titan bench. They're going to give a yellow to one of the sideline. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. Is this one of the assistant coaches? Must be. And that's going to be the call. I'll tell you what, as they sort this out, quick timeout back after this on WOSM. Welcome back to Historic Crew Stadium. The Titans coaching staff getting a yellow card. We're back to the action here as OG trailing Cincinnati Country Day in the Division III Girls State Final by a score of 1-0 with 16 minutes remaining in the second half. I'm Doug Jenkins alongside Nate Garlock. Titans just battling, trying to find a way to find something to the back of the net and score that equalizer. Yeah, I, I do I do understand the coaching staff's frustration on that no whistle that time as it happened right in front of them, yeah. so they obviously had a great look at it. The official um, out on the field was all he could see were their backs, so to them he couldn't quite see the hands moving on the inside. They were facing us, so we had a great view of it as well. Nighthawks fortunate that they didn't come away with that one, a yellow card out to the OG coaching staff. and Time right now working against the Titans with just about 15 to go here in the game. Well, back to your point, Nate. OG really need to string the. They still have plenty of time to string a few passes. You're only down one. All you need to do is put together one solid possession, string three or four passes together, get that overlap, get a defender out of position, and suddenly you're cooking. The Titans have just not been able to do that. And 
Unfortunately, like that situation that happened right there, that 50-50 ball where two players run into it has gone the Nighthawks' way all night. Well, I think that all comes down to that spacing. We've seen OG being able, um, been pretty close, especially as they get on these runs, and that's why we haven't seen a lot of connecting passes. But here's an Good opportunity. Ball on the right side. Looking for the centering pass. That will be deflected. It'll be a corner kick coming up for Ottawa Glandorf. So when they, on the few opportunities where they have done that and they've been able to get on a run and you've seen two, three passes get connected and, and strung together, good things have happened and things have opened up. It's just they haven't been able to do it consistently. Now can the Titans connect on a set piece? Last time they had a corner kick, Bree Douglas was had to come off the field to get taped up because of a cut. She's in there to take the kick this time. Low rolled in the box, and I don't think McKenna Seifer thought it was going to get to her as a defender ran in front of it and just missed. But sometimes that's enough to disrupt your timing, and that's what it looks like happened there. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's hard to it, it's it's hard to right now understand and, and kind of describe the 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 frustration or the disconnect on those corners with the Titans. They have really struggled the last two games. And it's not even like we've seen them have a lot of good opportunities, just haven't gone in. You know, we've seen them, you know, keep the ball low. They, they haven't got a lot of air in them. They've been short. They just really seemed off on those set pieces. And, you know, that's when you've had that many opportunities, you haven't been able to cash in those. That, it gets really frustrating. Aldridge comes up with it. She's blanketed by three white jerseys, though, and eventually has it taken away from her. Ball out to midfield. And as time continues to tick down here, you know the Titans are going to have to take more risks and send some defenders forward to see if they can make something happen and keep possession on their half of the field. That one sent into the blue crew. Throw in coming up Ottawa Glandorf. They quickly get it back to the field. Trying to get a centering pass. They're going to get a corner here. That ball took a nice bounce off the corner flag to the left, and that gives the Titans a corner. As you see the Nighthawks and here is this one starting to wind down. They're putting five on that back line. The defense is fine with just kind of packing it in. So these set pieces become even more important. Titans play just about everybody forward. So you see Madeline Hovis back towards the, towards the center circle. That ball's loose in the box. Aldridge got a foot on it, but it's deterred by the defender standing on the goal line. Sent forward and sent high off the foot of Madeline Hovist and the Titans, a near miss. An unbelievable defensive play by Melissa Tech as she found herself on that back post. If she's not there, that is a goal, and we are tied at one as Aldridge had done a great job getting a good touch to knock that one down and take it off the left foot. But what a sound defensive play and heads-up play here in a big moment. Indeed it was. That ball deflected away and it's able to, over to Weber. Weber plays it forward. Now the Nighthawks on the attack. Good defense there as Madeline Hovis is able to send it to the sideline. Got herself between the ball and the player and really takes away the attacking momentum momentarily anyway for the Nighthawks. Well, the Titans <laughs> just missing as it's sent forward by Aldrich. Finds Delaney dueling. Dueling. Had herself a goal in the state semifinal. They really haven't been able to get it over to her on the left sideline and let her have a shot. Seifker, pass over to the center. That one headed forward. That's where there was almost a defensive miscommunication. You saw the keeper coming out as the, def as the uh, center back sent that one away. That one's out of play, and it'll be a throw in for the Titans. You, saw, you talked about the defensive communication, but there was some offensive communication on that one as well as Wrecker and another OG offensive player went after it. Shot from Douglas off the left, corralled by the keeper in Alyssa Easter. Titans continuing to threaten, but have not been able to find a way onto the scoreboard as they trail 1-0. We've got just over 10 left in the second half of the state final matchup. A rematch from last year's state final. There's the pass. So they try and get it to Dueling. Dueling going to be whistled for offside. Oh, that's a tough what call. What a heartbreaker for the Titans. They had her in a great spot. That's a big call and a big moment there. Is Indeed. Dueling, I mean, she was straddling it for sure, but either way, ends up stopping that run as she had a great center too. 
we were just talking about if they can get Dueling on the edge, she can be dangerous and just missed there. Nighthawks play it down into their attacking third. Horseman has to send it out of play. Substitution coming on for Country Day. We'll step aside back after this on WOSN. Welcome back to Historic Crew Stadium. We're inside 10 minutes remaining in the Division Three State's final with Ottawa Glandorf trailing Cincinnati Country Day. Girls High School Soccer 1-0. Trying desperately to find and get this game level. Right now it's Country Day with the ball on the attack. Being very deliberate with their passing. They're not necessarily looking for that. They're not going for the jugular, so to speak, but they're playing very possession oriented, not doing anything to make any mistakes. Yeah, they, they are more than okay with just possessing, letting this time run off. You know, last year the only goal in the game was scored inside 10 minutes left to go. So still lots of time left for Ottawa Glandorf, but they're going to have to start taking some chances and trying to see if maybe they can't get a bounce or two to go their way. Erford would have liked to have that one. That's going to be a whistle against the Titans. and Got a little tangled out there. I don't think intentionally, but sometimes the cleats get melded together. Yeah, but she, you know, she was still kind of trying to run forward. <laughs> it didn't help that Megan Zimmerman was on the ground. Yeah, I think it looked a little bit worse than yeah. what it was. Nonetheless, though, it's going to be a free kick for the Nighthawks. They send it forward. Defensive header set it out wide. Head it back to Weber. Weber gives it to Zimmerman, or Pike, excuse me, Ferris. Ferris, the left footer. That one's going to be wide, and nobody's going to be able to catch up with it. Goal kick coming up, Ottawa Glendorf. And another substitution for Country Day. Match number 36, 7.58 remaining. Now, once we get inside five minutes, if they opt to sub, that will stop the clock. Play it forward, trying to get it to, to Brinkman. It's a nice pass over to Aldrich from Siefker. Aldrich wants to go left side to Delaney Doling, and that was well played off the bounce by uh, Alicon. Titans get it back. Doling played it forward. It comes right back to her, trying to work it to Aldrich. Defensive clearance sends it back where the Titans able to try and battle for possession there with Liv Grothaus. And that's going to be, it'll be Nighthawk ball. Titans continuing to try to push the issue, putting a lot more pressure on this defense than they were early on. But right now, the Nighthawks bending but not breaking. With the ball over on the far side is Piper Ferris. Again, more than 20 goals for her this season. She can also distribute. That's a nice takeaway. Outside, Bree Douglas. Douglas trying to turn the corner. Now looking for that connecting pass. Takes it down towards the far corner. Centers it in. Gets through. Dooling is there. Can Dooling get a foot on it? Titan fans wanted a foul, and that one gets out of bounds. It will be a goal kick coming up. Anytime you see those balls start playing around waist high down there, if you're the opposing team, you're hoping for maybe a handball. Yep. But you saw some hands flying up a little high. I think maybe that might have been what the wave of yelling was. They thought potentially a handball down there. But Cincinnati Country Day, once again, turns away the Titans' offense. Six minutes remaining. Got to believe the Titans have got one or two more runs in this in them. Set down nicely by Grothaus. Grothaus plays it forward, deflected out of bounds. Titans will have the throw in. Trying to find an equalizer and force this game to overtime. Dooling going to give chase to that one. And sent out a play, throw in Ottawa Glendorf. And actually, they're going to say that it's a country day throw in, and that's why they're able to bring their substitution in. Not a bad strategy by Horseman there, though. Take the quick throw, see if, see if they'll give it to you. Yeah, but now they will. The uh, official is 50 50 on it. Whoever goes for it may just get the call. Dueling gives chase. Able to get a foot on it, sends it back. Aldrich has it. Aldrich bumps it to the right. Well defended. 
Now they'll continue to work it to the right side with Wrecker. And sent long past the touchline, and it will be another goal kick coming up. Nighthawks not in any hurry here. Now we know that Ottawa Glendorf has accuracy and power from a distance, but on that one, you know, you'd, especially getting here late, you'd like to see Wrecker to keep trying to work around that side. She had an opening. Maybe get a little bit closer, maybe try to get a little bit more of an accurate shot than just kind of trying to get the hips turned and maybe get one in. Nice pass to the outside, but it will get out of bounds. Throw in coming up, Ottawa Glendorf. They'll go quick. Doling trying to get to it. And the Nighthawks again send it out of bounds. Titans trying to work it down in the corner. Dueling trying to catch up to it, unable to. Goal kick coming up once again for the Nighthawks as we are just over four minutes remaining. Taking her time. It's going to be short. Just got over Dueling, though. Seifker comes back to try and get possession of it for the Titans. Now the Nighthawks will play it long. Piper Ferris giving chase. Titans, no choice but to send that one out of play. Last touched out of bounds there by Brinkman. Three and a half remaining. Titans not on the side of the field they want to be. Horseman steps in front but sends it out of play and another throw in coming up. Quick throw in. Trying to work it in the corner. They're just going to be patient in that corner, too, and make the Titans either come through them and foul or try and create the opportunity. Yeah, with three minutes left to go, Cincinnati Country Day. They'll make sure that they slow play any of these throw wins. Titans just looking for a takeaway and a clearance. That one will get down the field. Seifker. Gets the touch, but the defense able to send it away. That one popped out of bounds. Titans is going to take the throw. Working it to McKenna Seifker and knocked out of bounds again. The Titans need to fight across here. Need to see if they can switch the field and find the defense out of Kilder. Seifker double teamed. Had it knocked away from her and set out of play. Now with 2.24 remaining. Throw in into Liv Grothaus. Taken away from her momentarily. The Titans are going to have to play. They didn't go back as far as I thought they might here. It's a nice pass into the middle to Carly Brinkman. Goes right side, Douglas. Douglas plays it forward. And that one is sent out of bounds, trying to get that one to Mackenzie Recker. That's a defensive set that Cincinnati Country Day is playing right now. They got everybody back, so there might be some opportunities out wide if they can get themselves a lane created. That one lobbed into the goal box. Aldrich set it, could not set it down, and it got away from her into the hands of the keeper in Alyssa Easter. That was a great opportunity. That might be the great last chance they had as Aldrich did a great job of anticipating and making that run, but just couldn't quite finish as it came off of her foot a little too strong. And now all the way back into their defensive half. The Titans send that out of bounds with a minute 25 remaining. And right now, the Nighthawks going to take their time putting this one into play. Sent out of bounds once again by Ottawa Glandorf. Down to a minute nine. And that finally will get out of bounds. Titans wanted the throw, but not going to get it here inside 60 seconds. Oh, gee, just trying to force something downfield if they can get a foot on it. They haven't been able to yet, down to 45 seconds, but the ball is going to stay in play. And that was just frustration sending it out of play there. Yeah, with the time winding down, they needed that one to go upfield. And not sure if she thought that maybe somebody was coming against her or what. But Take away Titans, but there's a whistle, and it will give a free kick to the Nighthawks. They will take their time setting this up with 20 seconds remaining. Deep in their attacking third. Take it down to the corner flag where they're going to just try and play possession there. Now down to 10 seconds. 
And the Titans, if anything, are going to have to just heave a long shot down the field, but that will not be the case, and that will be the ball game. Ottawa Glendorf will fall in the state championship. one nothing. your final as they fall to Cincinnati Country Day. We'll take a timeout back with more on WOSN right after this. Welcome back to Historic Crew Stadium, and it's heartbreak for Ottawa Glendorf in the Division III State Final in girls high school soccer. The Titans fall to Cincinnati Country Day by a score of 1-0. Taking a look at the scoring summary in this one, that one goal came about midway through the first half. Megan Zimmer, the header off of a corner kick from Elizabeth Zimmer to make it 1-0 with 21-27 remaining in the game. And the Titans could not find an equalizer. Country Day could not find another one to really put this one away, but they were able to possess long enough and keep the Titans from having any great looks on goal and come away with the victory. We'll take one more timeout when we come back. Some post-game analysis is still to come here on WOSN. Welcome back one final time from Historic Crew Stadium on WOSN. Tonight's game is service of Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Doug Jenkins, Nate Garlock with you here for the Girls Division Three State Final, Ottawa Glendorf. Heartbroken in Columbus tonight, but Nate, uh, when you look at the entirety of the season and the entirety of what this senior class and what this team has been able to do for this Ottawa Glendorf program, it doesn't feel great tonight, but they have got a lot to uh, hang on the mantle and a lot to remember from their time in the blue and gold. Yeah, I mean, just an incredible effort from this team. They've been so dominant over the last three years. They unfortunately lose for the third straight time here in the state finals with an identical score of one to nothing. But that just shows you how good and competitive these teams are. They're not coming here. They're not losing right. you know, by large margins. They're in these games till the very end. They graduate a lot, but if we know anything about Ottawa Glandorf teams, no matter what sport or what season, they seem to reload. Yes. They don't rebuild. And there's still a lot of talent left on this team, and I fully suspect that next fall we will see another great run out of these Lady Titans. And just a tremendous season, taking nothing away. Being state uh, state runner-up is not a, a bad thing at all. That is a tremendous accomplishment. Only one team gets to finish the yeah. year with a win. So to be able to play in this game, to play in it for three straight years, even though they haven't come away with the top trophy, still a lot, a lot of great accomplishments by this club. Absolutely. A legacy left by the outgoing seniors as they will collect the state runner-up trophy and medals. And well, that will do it for our broadcast here tonight. It's been great coming to you from Columbus. For Nate Garlock, I'm Doug Jenkins. Thank you for tuning in on WOSN. We'll see you next time.